Hey guys, we got Kit Kats. So many Kit Kats. I'm eating Kit Kats for breakfast. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Cub and Cat. Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> Today we are doing something a little different. We are gonna do eating, oh shit. <laughs> we are gonna do this um, big jar of Kit Kats. We're gonna eat all the Japanese Kit Kats that we bought at Beaufort Highway Farmer's Market. Hey, hey you, right now, go. Hey, look, go, go down below. Like this video, subscribe, and do all the other stuff real quick before you watch this video. Because, hey, if you show YouTube that you like this video, then we can make more videos. So go do that real quick, and then get back to the video. Thank you. Wasabi. I do. <laughs> it's, uh, it's like pink. That is already open here. It's open? Okay, cool. Yeah. Oh, the strawberry? Uh, yeah, strawberry. Okay, I got it. Come to the highway, get your Honestly. noodles, boy. Get you some oh noodles. Alright, we got a basket. Basket full of stuff. Like, I don't like the makeup feel heavy, but it just depends on what you wear. Kit Kats. We got a lot of Kit Kats. Hey guys, we got Kit Kats. So many Kit Kats. I'm eating Kit Kats for breakfast. How many bags do we have total right now? Uh, right now we have a total of 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 bags? 13. <laughs> we have... <laughs> We have a it's total. a lot of Kit Kats. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have a total of 13 different flavored Kit Kats that we bought here in Atlanta at the Beaufort Highway Farmer's Market. Um, these flavors are kind of like seasonal almost. They pop up sometimes, so you got to buy them when they're there. And then they swap out the flavors all the time because I don't know if you guys know it, but in Japan, they have over 100 different flavors of Kit Kat. Yes. And we only got 13. <laughs> I know you guys have probably seen, you know, the Japanese Kit Kats. I don't, I don't really want to call it a challenge, but you've seen it, especially on YouTube. It's a very big thing. Everyone has done it. it tastes like I'm just eating spoonfuls of sugar. I'm traveling in Japan right now, and every time I come back to Japan, I get Kika as a souvenir for my friends in the States because we have so many flavors of Kit. This is the one that I've tried before, but it's been many, many years. I think six years. So today we're gonna start with some Kit Kats and we'll see how this goes. I don't want a sugar overdose. I do want a sugar overdose. I, I love Kit Kats and some of these I flavors sound Kit really Kats. awesome. <laughs> so we just kind of made a list. Uh, first Kit Kat was Kit Kat number one, which was the matcha Kit Kats. I love matcha. I love anything matcha. And I think it's very <laughs> Japanese of them to make matcha Kit Kats. So we put all of our Kit Kats here in this little UFO container that we got. It's kind of like a cookie jar. Mm -hmm. I think it just makes them look a little bit better. So we're gonna pull them all out of here and try them as we go. All right, first Kit Kat, matcha. Matcha Kit Kat. This is a good way to start, but Lord, I don't wanna end on a bad one either. <laughs> Break me off a piece of that. <laughs> all right, let's see. Very green. This tastes just like matcha. But it's good. Very great. It's a Kit Kat. If you've ever had matcha tea at Starbucks or a bubble tea place or anywhere you get matcha. I was gonna say, yeah, but that's what I appreciate because even though it is like, of course it has that really matcha flavor, like because it is still a Kit Kat, it's that chocolate, like it creates a creaminess, so it's good. All right, so I think while we're doing this, we'll make a pile. I'll pile things that we like on our side, on my mm. side over here, and then things we don't like on Cat's side. So matcha, I will say I like it. I like it goes on this side and if we can't decide if we like it or not it'll go in the middle oh god all right so first kit kat out of the way that was matcha next good job japan <laughs> <coughs> please don't die <laughs> <laughs> kit kat went somewhere else for a second next kit kat is gonna be 
almond and cranberry yogurt. I don't, I've never had, I've never had any of these flavors, but this sounds very interesting. This one sounds good to me. I love almonds. Okay, so these come in an individual package. I'm kitty. Let me get my own. See. So these little Kit Kats come in a little individual package. Boom. Oh, it's so cute. It almost smells like old yogurt. It does. Smell it smells like, like milk yogurt. products. Let's let's um. What do the makeup girls do? Is this it? Focus it. Whatever. It has the it. This is it's the stuff is in here. <laughs> So this one is cranberry and almond, yogurt. cranberry yogurt. Tastes like yogurt. I can't decide if I like it or not. I can't either right now. I don't. It's not terrible. It's just different. It is, but it literally tastes like eating a parfait or something. You get your nuts. Get my nuts. Get my nuts. You get your cranberry, which is kind of like the fruit. It's I don't not like bad. It. I'm gonna put it. In, it's in the middle. It has to go in the middle for now because I can't decide. We might have to try another one. I kind of like it though. All right, so now we're trying the third Kit Kat. Salt and lemon. Should be interesting. Kit Kat number three, salt and lemon. I thought it was salt and sugar when we bought it from the store and then I looked it up online even though I'm dumb and it says it on the back. <laughs> Um, but like, I thought it was like a lemonade. Does does that not look like lemonade to you guys? It, does it has like a little lemonade. lemon. It has a little bowl of sugar down there. Apparently, that's a bowl of salt. But yeah, that's what I want to know. Like, is 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 that a is that a thing in Japan? Like, if you're watching from Japan, can you comment and let us know? Like, do y'all sprinkle a little salt on y'all lemon? Cause what does that do? Let like, me know if like I'm missing out. People put salt on their fruit. This is true. Or sugar sometimes. People I, put more sugar on it. They put salt on watermelon. That's what I know people to do. Okay, well, that's true. That is true. But I, right. I'm not really a fan of watermelon. Kit Kat number three. Honest. Salt and lemon. Oh, good. I wish it was salt and sugar, because then it would just be lemonade. Oh, yeah. But Ooh, then it's kind of yellow. That. It's a little yellow. Oh, it is yellow. And it smells like lemon. It smells like, um, if you've ever had a lemon meringue, anything, that's what it smells like. I like lemon, so let's right, hope let's this try. goes well. And I like it. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Okay. Oh, that when it hit my tongue, that was lemon. You know what this tastes like? You know what this tastes like? You know what this tastes like? It tastes like a. It tastes like that like that Girl lemon Scout Girl Scout cookie. cookie. <laughs> it tastes exactly like that. I had it, it in my head too. It tastes just like that. Whatever that lemon Girl Scout cookie is, I'll put it somewhere over cat space right now. Um. <laughs> That's it tastes it just like, like that. <laughs> We're the same person. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I don't like it. It could have been a lot worse, but yeah, I'm gonna say that Girl Scout cookie is not. The Girl my Scout favorite. cookie is of course sweeter though. This has like that salt at the end, which I prefer. Cause that Girl Scout cookie is not my favorite because so it's so this? sweet and it's so lemon. I put it in the middle. Sam. In the middle. All right, we have another one that's going in the middle. It's just like, I'm such a fan of Kit Kats. Like, I feel like it's good in the sense of love. I love of what lemon. it is. I love citrus. I love lemon. I it's almost there, but it's not quite right. The next Kit Kat is going to be Mandarin Orange, from what I can tell. On the back, my little kitties. It says Mini Eokon, but I don't know what a Mini Eokon is. It says Mini Eokon. You know what an Eokon is? What if not? It's probably a Mandarin Orange. I just didn't feel like looking it up because I'm lazy. Number. Four. <laughs> number four is Mandarin <laughs> Orange. Um, I lost track on number four. Look at the so bag. The bag is very cute. It got little kitties it has on little it. little cats on it. I say this is one of the better looking packaging. You know, we love cats. Look at them. Speaking of cats. We with the cat on We it. got all our Kit Kats from Area 51. Little cat with pom poms. Ah, I didn't even realize he do got pom poms. That's Mary J. Hey. I don't think I like this flavor. We'll see. Mm. All right, Mandarin Orange. Okay. I like it. It's like a dream sickle. If you like dream sickles, you're gonna like this. I like it. You like this and not the lemon? Yeah. The lemon is salty. I don't like salt. I like the lemon over this one. Tastes like a dream sickle. I guess. And dream sickles have never been my favorite. So. Dream sickles pop. I like citrus too. It's pops. I prefer the lemon, y'all, personally. So for right now, this is gonna go in the middle. Cat doesn't like it. I like it. It's a middle then. 
I don't think it'll be for everybody, but I definitely like it because I like dream sequels. It was so creamy. Kit Kat number five. <laughs> Strawberry. Oh my God. Like I just got a whiff from yeah, the bag. It's very <laughs> strong. Sweet God. Number five is gonna be strawberry. I think we're both gonna hate this one because I don't like strawberry flavored things. I, I love strawberry though. Which I think is another thing. I told you. Y'all. <laughs> <laughs> if you've ever had like a strawberry candle, strawberry medicine, do not just strawberry anything. Do not that is what it smells it. like. It hits me as soon as, like none of the other ones hit me as soon as I took them out of the package like that. I had to sniff a few of them. Why do y'all wanna do this? This tastes like perfume. Strawberry chocolate, but like it's, it is chocolate. They're all chocolate. This, this is strong. I have never had no strawberry that tastes like this. So, That's going this in is a the no. First in the no pile. The very first it. one. I knew it though. Six. Yeah, number six. Number <laughs> six is green tea. Number six is gonna be green tea, which is, I feel like essentially the same thing as matcha, but this one might be stronger. The package is definitely a darker color than the other one. Mm, smell it good? definitely smells, I feel like this one smells more like matcha to me and the other one smells more like green tea. I feel like they're reversed. It's so dark. It looks like, I, I mean, if y'all ever had edibles, I mean, this is what my edibles be looking like before, you know, I mix them in. <laughs> I hate you. Yeah, this gives me more matcha vibes than green tea vibes. I don't know, maybe. Maybe, 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 maybe the actual people mixed them up, the actual um, store mixed them up, and the matcha is the green tea, and the green tea is the matcha. And that's what happened. I'm just going based off of what was on the packaging, but of course the packaging can get mixed up in. This one, I feel like, is matcha. I feel like this is matcha in disguise. It's just, it's, yeah, it's very herbal. I'm gonna herbal heat. It's not my favorite though. I don't hate it. I would eat the other one. I would put this one in the middle. That's it's not that I wouldn't eat it, it's just like, eh. Yeah. It's very eh. I'll take that. Number six. This is seven. Number seven. Number seven. <laughs> <laughs> Party ice cream. Obviously, I've already had too much candy and Clearly. I cannot tell numbers anymore. Look how cute that is. This is very cute, but I feel like I'm gonna hate it. This one's called Party Ice Cream. It looks very cute, clearly, but what? <laughs> What's party ice cream? Water cleanse time. Not sponsored. Water, 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 water. But I do love Yeti. Don't like that. Don't like that. Nope. Essentially, it tastes like the cranberry one to me at first, but then it has an aftertaste of just sweet. But yeah, this is a no. This goes in the trash. So our next Kit Kat is going to be the one I think I might like, which is custard pudding. I like a nice pudding. I like a nice custard. I, I had like a creme brulee. Nice it looks like creme brulee if you look at it on top. And I just had creme brulee the other day and that shit slapped. So we got some custard pudding. We actually went to Voga Italian Gelato. 10 out of 10 would recommend. It's a really good gelato place. We have pictures on our Instagram if you guys want to check that out. At Coven Cat. Right over Deanna's face right now. I'll put a picture. All right. Yeah. So next, we are going to try custard pudding. This is number eight. Number eight. Number eight. Custard pudding. Yeah, this smells like creme brulee. We, oh, it, oh, oh. It, might, it, might, smell, it smells like, like those candies. Those old people candies. Werther's? Is that what it is? Like a butter? It smells like butterscotch. Caramel, basically. Okay. It's okay. It's all right. I would eat it. If you gave me this, I would eat it. You it's know, like I'm just I'm coming to the realization that I'm not a big um, white chocolate fan. Mm. But it's like white chocolate with a little bit of caramel. Yeah. It's not terrible. I put this in the yes pile, honestly. I finished it clearly. So that's a yes. Sure. Number nine. Number nine is strawberry daifuku. And daifuku is a Japanese mochi dessert in which they put like a strawberry with red bean around it and then they put it in mochi, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm wrong, I'll say something. Correct me. I correct myself. All right. We ain't scared to be wrong around here. So number eight. Right? Number eight. <laughs> Six, seven, eight. Eight. Number eight. <laughs> Yeah, much much lighter fragrance, which gives me a little bit of hope. But in real life, 
I don't think that I would like a strawberry dafuku because um, as much as I love anything Japanese, I do not like mochi. I don't hate mochi. I hate mochi. I feel like- Don't come for me. I feel like there is a certain time for mochi in which I will like it and I have not experienced that yet. <laughs> well, good for you for keeping an open mind because I'm a huge texture, texture person and mochi is not the one for me, dog. Nope. It's a weird inner texture. I don't like it. What are these it. flavors? I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't what like is it. that? I don't like it. Nope. I don't like it. I gotta get up. I, I need water. Yep. I don't like it. What is that flavor? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's so many flavors happening. Save the turtles. Recycle, man. Get that plastic out of here. All right. Um. That was gross. Number eight, strawberry daifuku was a no. Anything strawberry, clearly, as I don't like fans. Stra strawberry is not a flavor. It's not it. Strawberry is not a flavor of things. Just, no. Just eat a strawberry, my guy. Please. Fresh fruit. Fresh fruit is a thing. All right. Number nine. I think I'm gonna love this one. This one is it. black tea chocolate. It's the only one of two that are actually chocolate. Everything else was some type of weird white chocolate. Honestly, I think this might be white chocolate because that don't look like quite all chocolate to me. This might have a little bit of white chocolate in it too. So let's try this one. But at least it's chocolate base. Oh, upside down. Look at that. Bow. Yeah, I had to get this real quick. If you've ever bought a coffee scented candle, this is what that smells like. We should not be eating things that smell like candles. This smells like Pottery Barn on a Tuesday afternoon when they when they trying to get some candles off. Like they trying to sell these. I don't like the way that smell. I don't think I'm gonna like this. I changed my mind now. It should not smell like that. This do not smell edible. Oh, it just tastes like tea. I'm gonna put this in the no pile. It tastes burnt. I'm gonna put it in the no pile, but it's not that bad. It's just like it tastes like burnt wood. <laughs> yeah, that's that's not it. This tastes burnt. I don't like it. Next one, apple pie. Number ten. Number ten is apple pie, and for some reason, it's called Halloween break, and it's purple. Y'all see that? It's purple. I'm I'm all confusion about this because if it's Halloween edition, if it's Halloween break, why is it why apple, is it apple pie? pie? Is apple pie like a dessert that y'all have in Japan for like the holidays? Because if anything, I would think like- It just says yes on it. You don't think like a sweet potato or a pumpkin? Appetizing. So again, just Japanese packaging being confusing. This one is called Halloween Break. It just says yes on the front for some reason. And it's purple, but the flavor is apple pie. So, <laughs> okay. Why like, wouldn't it be like orange like the other one? It smells like apple. I will give them that. It smells like apple pie almost to me. But it also smells like products, like lavender products or something. What is that? This smells like grape jelly. It does kind of smell like grape jelly. It's if like, grape jelly was a candle, why are we eating candles? I'm over this. I thought I was really gonna have fun and now I'm sad. All right, number 10. 10, I, I cannot keep up with these. You're on the sugar high. What is that? I can't chew that, y'all. What is it? I don't want I'm gonna to I'm going to finish it. I chew it half of the other ones. <laughs> My mouth don't want to do it. <laughs> mm -mm. That's a no. That's a no. That's a no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Our final two are a weird one that comes in ball form. I love balls. It's a chocolate one. The first actual chocolate I one, chocolate. I believe. It is nuts and cranberry. And our final one, which is going to be Hokkaido melon and mascarpone, which both sound okay to me. I hope these two are good. Okay, we I, saved them for last. I feel like I'm actually really going to like the both of these. And maybe this one is the one that I thought that I would really like from the cranberry yogurt almond. But I think that that one was just too much yogurt. Like, like I said, I'm not a fan of white chocolate. So this one... It's probably gonna be the one that I'm really gonna be an advocate for. I'm probably gonna love it. And it comes in circles and balls. Like who doesn't who doesn't like that? All right, so number 11 is nuts and cranberry with chocolate.
So y'all see that little pieces of cranberry and almond? I got Not yogurt. I got chocolate. Some real Ooh, these, this, these are these are balls. Flavors in my mouth. They're ah, little balls. I love that. Kit Kat balls. Thanks. Ball cats. Ball cats. Mmm, that was oh softer than I expected. Pieces in there in the middle, which I enjoy. So y'all see that? It's still kind of like a Kit Kat. This is fucking good. It is. Maybe it's the chocolate. This is this is great. This is the first one that like it's good. It's actually good. Like I I will eat that. Good job, Japan. I would buy those. Oh, we haven't eaten anything today. All we've had is sugar. Yeah. Yeah. And the final one. The final countdown. This is number twelve. Hokkaido melon and mascarpone. If you can see, it says Japan souvenir on it because we went to Japan and we got it. Bam! Not for real. <laughs> um, but we gonna have like we did. Um, it smells like candy. You know, I really appreciate. Oh, it smells like candy. It smells like. I appreciate this packaging a lot. Wanna know why? Because it's green. The outside is green, like a cantaloupe. And guess what the inside or the actual product is? Orange. Orange like like a cantaloupe. Hmm. Child, this tastes like candy. I mean, we're eating candy, yes. This tastes like cantaloupe, though. It tastes like a different candy. It tastes like a fruity candy. This is what I want cantaloupe to taste like. If In all honesty. If cantaloupe was sweeter, this is what I will, this is perfect. So overall, I've learned that Japan should probably make less Kit Kats, but it's fun. This is fun. This is definitely a great thing to do. You can go spend a couple dollars, try out a lot of flavors of Kit Kats, and have a different experience, and maybe find something you really like. Because there are so many others. Like <laughs> I just, I don't know how many more of these I could do, especially <laughs> being that I haven't eaten any real food today. We tried 12? Yes. We tried 12 in total. We liked four. We didn't like four. And we hated, or we had four oh, in the right. middle. I that we didn't like them. We liked four, we didn't like four, and four of them were just eh. No, we liked four, hated five, four of them were eh. Well, that's not, that's 13 then. Do we have 13? <laughs> Maybe we had 13 and we counted something twice. So we counted something wrong. Yay. <laughs> All right, but overall, you guys get the point. The Kit Kats were really interesting, but yeah. like, let's if that's a if that's a range right there. Out of thirteen Kit Kats, some of them were kind of liked, some of them were a lot liked, and some of them were not so liked. But maybe if you like strawberry things, you would have really liked those Kit Kats. And maybe if you hate some of the things that we liked, it would have been the opposite. A lot of people don't like citrus, which I found to be awesome, but Nana didn't <laughs> like. Bless you. Child. Thank you. Yeah, this was fun. This was very fun. Um, and of course, we are a little biased. This just because, like we said, there are so many other flavors. Like, I just don't know why we got all the ones that taste or smell like a candle. <laughs> it was a lot of sugar, man. Yeah, <laughs> I can feel my body. I felt it. Right it now. felt it hit my temple. But yeah, if you like this video, make sure those are our cats. <laughs> okay. Um, if you like this video, make sure, you know, just drop a like, drop a comment, subscribe, share with your friends, all of those things that you know you do on your social medias, your YouTube, your Instagram, your Twitters. Media. Yeah, I sound like an old dude, but you know what I mean, guys. Like, if you really support us, you want to see more videos from us, just make sure you like this video, share it with your friends, tell somebody about it, just because we can keep making more videos. And we do have another video for you guys, just because we did end up buying so many things at the Beaufort Highway Farmers Market. Our next episode is going to be about chips. So if you really like this episode, go and like this video, and then you're gonna we can keep eat all making these weird chip more flavors. episodes. We can keep more doing and more and more episodes and more about, and more. about more things. <laughs> and then I can keep and buying more, more stuff. And, and, then, more. and then and more and then and more. And then can try all of these flavors. And Yay. then and then we'll have like more content, guys. So make sure you like this video. Thanks, bye. bye.